Hello guys, welcome to Genius Forge. In this video we will show you how to download and install the current Eclipse version. It's very easy now, you don't need to install Java separately to install Eclipse. So let's see how we can install Eclipse. Go to your favorite web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser you want. In the search bar, type Eclipse and press enter. Enter the official website is visible. That means eclipse.org. Click on it. After clicking, when you reach the official website. At the top right corner, you'll notice the download button is clearly visible. Go ahead and click on it. After clicking, now you can see the current version of Eclipse IDE. It's mentioned right here that it comes with the JRE, which is Java, so there's no need to install it separately. So I'll just click on Download to download it on Windows. Now the download section is again visible. Click on download again now. The download will start now. Let's wait for a few seconds. You can see we have successfully downloaded the Eclipse current version. Now click on the downloaded file to install. Now let's begin the Eclipse installation process. For different types of developers, there are various versions available. If you're working with C or C++, you'll select the respective option. Similarly, web developers, such as PHP developers, can choose the version designed for their needs. Since we are focused on Java, let's go ahead and click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Notice how Eclipse automatically detects the current version of Java on your system. This means you don't need to install Java separately. The package includes both the JDK, Java Development Kit, and JRE, Java Runtime Environment, which are necessary for development. The installation will take place in the default location, and it will also create both a start menu entry and a desktop shortcut for easy access. Once you're ready, click Install and accept the terms. Now let's wait for the installation to complete. When it's done, you can simply click Launch to open Eclipse and start coding. Now you need to set the directory for your workspace. The workspace is where all your project files, folders, and plugins will be saved. It is recommended to leave it as it is. All your projects will be saved in this location automatically. Once you're ready, click Launch. Now we have successfully launched Eclipse. From the top menu, click on File, then go to New and select Java Project. A dialog will appear where we can name our project. I'll name this one My Project. Next, it automatically selects the Java version based on your system, so we'll leave that as it is. Now we can also choose the path where the project will be stored, but for now, we'll keep it in the default Eclipse workspace. Once everything looks good, click Finish. Congratulations, you've just created your first Java project. Now let's create a Java class inside our project. In the Project Explorer on the left, right-click on the project we just created and choose New, then Class. For the class name, let's call it First Program. In the Package section, I'll type My Package to keep our project organized. After that, Leave everything else as it is, and click Finish. Great, now you should see your class file open up in the editor. First, I'll type public static void main string args. Now let me explain this quickly. Public means it's accessible everywhere. Static allows the method to run without needing to create an object. Void means it doesn't return anything. And string args is where we can pass arguments to the program if needed. Inside the main method, let's add a simple print statement. I'll type system, which refers to the system class, followed by dot out, which is the output stream, and then dot print ln, which will print the text. I'll put the text we want to display. Let's type double quotes, and inside that, I'll add hello world. Now, to complete the line, I'll add a semicolon at the end, which is required to terminate every statement in Java. And there we go. We've now written our main method in the code to print hello world to the console. Now let's run our program. I'll right click on the file, go to run as, 
and select Java application. We've successfully run our code, and the output is displayed right here. With this, we've completed the installation and setup of our Java development environment using Eclipse. Now you can start creating your own Java application.